Welcome back to Faith and Praise. I'm Brother Robinson. Here with me right now at, uh, is Brother Gregory Kelly. He's one of the lead singers with the famous group Slim and the Supreme Angels. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we've uh, enjoyed Slim and the Supreme Angels for many years. Uh, I want to ask you, how did you get started with the group? Um, I first got with the Supreme Angels, I was their drummer. Uh, which was back in the late part of 1973, and uh, I've been there ever since. Got stuck with it and loved the life for it. Yeah, oh. well, I was, like I said, I was playing drums, and then I played drums for maybe three or four years, and then I moved on to sing. How did the, I want to ask Slim this, but uh, I want to know how did the song Deaf and the Beautiful Lady come about? Um, I think it was a minister in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, that give him the idea of the song, and he sat down and put the words to it. It's been, it was a big hit at the time, but now you have a bigger one. Uh, this uh, song that y'all recorded, the album that you recorded live in Louisiana. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, live in Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, stay under the blood. Stay under the blood. Yeah. That was a very big, that is a most powerful, very moving song. Uh, what was the uh, inspiration behind that number? Um, I, Reverend Hunt wrote that song, and I couldn't really put in words what inspired him to write this song because I, I can't really speak for him. But it's it's a very wonderful song. It's doing a lot for the Supreme Angels, and it's doing a lot for people. Uh, the choir that was I seen some of the video that y'all did live that live video. The choir that was behind him. Where were they from? They're from Baton Rouge. From the local churches of a sort of community yeah. type program that y'all got together? No, it was they records for Ty Scott Records out of uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Voices of Praise. All right. That's man. a wonderful choir. You're right. They were a wonderful choir. We were uh, looking at the video, we were seeing us slim, and they came together and they jailed real well for the, uh, the video. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it's going to go a long way. Uh, well, we hope so. We truly hope so. We, you know, we just had a new release that was just released on the Spring Angels. Uh, we did this one live in uh, Goldsboro, North Carolina, and it's entitled Nobody But You. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Uh, we haven't seen it yet. Uh, we hope that we'll be able to see you along with Slim and the Supreme Angels uh, in the future, maybe closer to them, back, maybe back in Wilton again. It's been a while since you've been there. Yes, it's been a very long time since we've been in Wilton. We maybe coming to Wilton. Uh, uh, people there seem to love having you there because uh, they seem to uh, see the songs that you were singing, it's, it's a part of their life. It kind of reminds them of something in their life and helps them to overcome a lot of things. And as long as your music stays in inspiration, people at Wilson would love, this, love to have you back. Uh, well, we, we, uh, we're not like a lot of people. We're not like most groups, you know. We don't, uh, we don't have a line of uh, routine. But we just let the Spirit of the Lord lead us. And we want to be an inspiration to everyone that we sing to. And everyone that hears us sing and enjoy listening to us sing, we love being an inspiration to them. Uh, well, for those uh, aspiring groups out there and flesh to the community, uh, a lot of communities y'all will be going to in the next few days, uh, and some of those that you've already passed, what words of encouragement would you have for these people? Well, I like to basically to enjoy, to encourage young people. You know, because I'm, I'm a young man, and I, I like to encourage young people. Uh, a lot of times when we go to different places or when I'm not singing or when I'm off, and I go to church, I like to inspire young people because I take inventory in churches, and I like to sometimes ask the people, the young people from 6 to 21 to stand up. And I went to a church not too long ago, and there was about 300 people there, and out of those 300, it was only about 10 kids there between the ages of 16 and 21. And we need to do more for our young people. You know, we need to do more to get them out of the streets, get them off drugs. And I found out that not all of our young men are in jail or in prison. You know, some of them are out there and they hear the music, but they just don't know how to come to the music. So we need to inspire them and teach them how to come. You know, you don't force them, you don't make them come, but you do something to inspire them, to touch them some kind of way and help them to come to the Lord. Amen. We sure appreciate we enjoyed your program tonight. Hopefully we'll be able to get Slum Supreme Angels in Wilmington once again and we'll be able to 
firsthand see, we won't have to travel so far, we'll be able to see close up uh, Slug of Supreme Rangers performing, uh, enlighten the, the crowd, and spread the word of God through song. We appreciate you being on our program. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Thank you. We look forward to it.